1775. That's how many days I've been playing chess on chess.com, and I still haven't ever gotten to 2000 ELO. So I'm dedicating the next 7 days to getting my first ever 2000 rating in chess. To answer the question, can an average chess player like me get what only a tiny percentage of people in the world have? Okay, the goal for day one is to get to 1600. I started this with high hopes, but in just the first game of the challenge, I quickly realized that this wouldn't be as easy as I had first thought. Oh my gosh, I could've just taken the night. Am I blind? Why am I so low in time? Why did I move there? I'm not even sure if this video is possible. Like, I know you see it in the title, but that's just the goal of the video. And it didn't take long for me to start getting a little bit angry. I'm not, I'm not losing any more games here. There's there's no no way I'm doing this. And after such a disgraceful game, I remembered a piece of advice my friend had told me before this challenge. Don't blunder and play fast. This actually helped me because after that, I finally started to go on a winning streak. Easy win, easy victory royale. Yes. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Easy win. But as it got higher in rating, things would quickly become more difficult. Oh my. Oh my gosh, I gave up checkmate. Man, great. Through all these losses, I would still win some games, but with every win came at least two more losses. I would win material in the opening and then just get violated in the middle game. I just couldn't settle into my groove, so after an hour of playing chess and after losing this game, I had gained a grand total of negative five points. Yeah, I was a little depressed at this point. Okay, so my friend who's a chess master and also a pro chess coach told me that trying to get to 2000 in bullet is not a good idea. Uh, so that's something. I now felt like I needed to prove to this chess master that I was good enough to become 2000. And I think this motivated me to play better because after this I stopped talking completely and just focused 100% on winning. Some games were a little chaotic and others just weird. <laughs> what was that game? But all that I cared about was that I was finally on a good win streak and now only had a few more games to reach 1500. One more game to 1500. <laughs> okay, actually one more game to 1500. Yes, get a rook. Nice, nice, nice. We need 100 more points to be done. And even though pushing the 1500 ELO was way more difficult than I thought it would be, I could tell I was beginning to play better and blunder Checkmate. less. Check Mate? Oh my goodness gracious, we won! We're almost halfway, guys. And maybe it was because I just needed some warm-up games, but getting to 1600 seemed pretty easy, at least at first. I'll take that win. Wow. Nice. Great game, guys. And even though I was making better moves, I was terrible at managing my time. I would lose on time, and then when I tried to move quicker, I would just end up blundering something. Oh, just think about your moves, man. <laughs> and this cycle would just repeat. I would think about my moves in one game, and then lose on time. How does he have bodies so much? Ah! Then I would try to move quickly so I wouldn't lose on time and then blunder the game away. After a lot of these games, I finally was able to mix thinking about my moves oh. with being able to move quickly and was rapidly closing in on 1600. Alright, All right, he's panicking for the flow time. Alright. I would still lose some games. Bruh. Alright, can we stop losing? Oh my gosh. But after this, I came up with a saying that would carry me all the way to 1600. Okay, think rationally, not uh, radically. Radical, not rational. Easy win. Nice, nice. Rational, not radical. Here we go. Zero blunders, zero mistakes, zero misses. Yes! One more game till 1600. Here we this, why is this guy 1700? Right. This game would be the true test if I was actually able to be players better than me. Because my opponent was rated over 100 points higher than me. Easy victory royale! And even though I had gotten to 1600 for that day, I could tell that I didn't really know my openings very well, so I played a few more games. I was so confident, I decided my new goal for today was now 1650. Let's go. That is another one. What is going on? Another one. Another one. What is this man doing? <laughs> okay, I think that's checkmate. Easy win, easy win, easy win! Oh, I didn't even know that was checkmate. Okay, nice. 1656. All right, we're gonna do a few more. I thought about pushing more, but after winning one game and losing the next one, I decided to stop for today, confident that tomorrow I could easily reach 1700 ELO. I think we're gonna end it there. 1650, not bad. We'll come back tomorrow. Day number two, 1700 is my goal, but since I'm already at 1650, I might go to 1750 or 1800, depending on how many games I can win. All right, first game of the day. The second day started off nearly perfect. 
Off to a good start. Off to a great start. Yes! Woo, okay. Checkmate in 18 moves. Yeah. Easy win. 1700 already. You know what? We got there so quickly, I am pushing to 1750 right now. Since I had already reached today's goal so quickly, I decided to keep playing to 1750, and here's where things started to fall yeah. apart. That, that's a terrible game, all right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my. Oh my. Can I not lose? All right, I'm gonna take a break until I can emotionally recover from being destroyed. After taking a much needed break, I just watched some Gotham chess videos to really understand the openings that I played. But after this, I decided to play some unrated bullet games, and these games would end up being some of the most important matches of the entire challenge. Yes, I won, I was losing, but I won on time. I beat a 2,000 rated player. All right, are we gonna get a draw or? I won. I won. I beat a 2300. <laughs> I now knew that I had the ability to beat 2000 rated players. The only question was, why was I still losing to these 17 and 1800 opponents? Today, what is the goal? 1800. 1800 points in bullet. Nice. Good win. I was happy I won that game, which was good because the following games would be some of the worst games of the entire challenge. Just win a game, bruh. Ah, Oof. Three seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, of course you blunder your night. I mean, why, why wouldn't you blunder your night? I had tilted back below 1700 and was now nowhere near reaching today's goal of 1800 ELO, but eventually I managed to climb back to 1700. We take that and the rating points and we go to the next game. And even had this weird interaction. Wait, is this guy an FM? Wait, is that real or fake? Uh, uh, I beat a FIDE master. Is that even real? Okay, he is a FIDE master. How is this guy a FIDE? What the? I have been playing for about an hour now and had made zero progress. All right, we're back at 1700. I, I mean, every time I get to 1700, I just start losing again. I would win one game, then lose three, and this would just repeat over and over and over. I needed to fix something. I just didn't know what. And after this painful game where I was completely winning, wow, I was totally winning that game and should have won easily, but I blundered everything. I, I can't keep playing like this. Uh, uh, this is not healthy. Yesterday I was supposed to be 1800, and today I was supposed to be 1850. Now we have to go from 1700 all the way to 1850. In just the first few games, I already had high hopes for today. Very good, very good. Yes sir, yes sir, burglar. Guess who's back? Back again. Checkmate, checkmate. But just like the day before, I began to tilt. Oh my gosh, I'm, 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 I'm. I knew something had to change, and quickly, or else I would never be able to get above 1700. Heisenberg, bruh, just move, just move your pieces, come on. And after almost an hour of winning, losing, and making no progress, I thought it was stuck at 1700 forever. But it was my friend's advice that got me through day one, and with these words of wisdom in mind, I continued playing. I was seeing things I wasn't seeing before, and okay. blundering way less. Nice. Very good. The only problem now was that it just wasn't always moving fast enough. You lost no time. Wow. <laughs> but right See now, there? this didn't matter, since I was winning much more than I was losing. Oh, and slowly but surely, I was closing in on 1800. I was only a few games away, but things were seriously not getting any easier. Okay, dude. I lost my queen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I came back from this mini tilt and was just Lucky one time. game away from 1800. Ooh, wait a second, little. <laughs> oh, I'm so okay. Three points, three points away from 1800. Yes, we, we win the rope. Boom. Yes, I believe I can fly. What's in your wallet? That is victory royale. Victory. 1800. We made it. And just like that, I was only 200 points away from getting to 2000 ELO. I really didn't know if my gameplay was good enough to get to 2000 ELO, but luckily I had some plans that would help me get there. Alright, 1900 is the goal today. Nice, we get a new queen trade. Oh no, 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 not like this, not like this, please. 
Day 5, things started off slow with me losing the first game of the day. But after a few more losses, I began to warm up and quickly began to regain my lost rating points. Yes, 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 yes. We won the game! 18.30. Closing in, folks. This is what we like to see. After struggling so much yesterday, I was honestly shocked at how many games I was winning. Win after win, I was gaining confidence until... Let's check here. Uh, let's go here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, dude. Just like every single day previously, I was beginning to tilt, losing my rating at an alarming speed. I tilted so much, in fact, I was now back at 1700. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm doing so good this game. I'm playing so well. Uh, and I had to use 101% of my willpower just to climb back to 1800. Again, I knew there was a problem with my gameplay, I just didn't know what it was. So I asked my friend Yarjar, who's over 2400 in bullet, to coach me, and he said he would once I reached 1900. This motivated me, and I came back with a fresh, new mindset. I knew I was able to beat people above 1900 rating. I would just get nervous and choke completely winning positions. Since this was the highest rating I'd ever been, I just had to calm down and play chess. I wouldn't even look at my opponent's rating, I would just focus on the game, and this helped a lot. What can I say except you're welcome? My sanity nice. might have been slowly leaving me. Nice. nice. Very good. Very good game. So but my elo was going up, and that's all that was important right now. Two hours later, after countless games, I was finally one game away from 1900. Seven points away, folks. Seven points from the promised land. From 1900. Oh, he gives up a rook. Another one. Gatorade. We're 1900. We're 1900. Oh my god. We're 1900. This is one of the greatest accomplishments in my life. Okay. Look at that achievement. Look at that. Alright, that's today's goal. I can't believe I made that. It took forever. But that's all for today. Alright, look at this. I played so many games. 257 bullet games. I'm number one in the Champions League. But more importantly, I was now 1900. And you know what this means. You're in the first, but you're now in F3. That's right, Nyar Jar, who's over 2400 in bullet, was now going to be helping me to get to 2000 elo. But before I played any real games, I decided to warm up and play an unrated game against the 2300. I wasn't even recording it, but I ended up actually beating this 2300 player. This boosted my confidence insanely high, and I was ready to get today's goal of 1950 elo. But before that, Nyar Jar taught me this pro level opening system to play in bullet. When I was grinding bullet professionally, this I would call my system. And you can do this with the white pieces or the black pieces. The goal of this opening was to attack your opponent with your pawns, opening up their king and allowing you to get a massive attack on their king. I had never played this before in my entire life, so I didn't really know what I was doing, but in just the first couple of games, I completely violated my opponents. Alright, no, this is fine. You you just, you were playing too slowly. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> and then I faced people who actually knew what they were doing. <laughs> the main problem was that I just had no experience with this opening system, so I would run out of time, thinking about what steps I had to do instead of just playing from memory. But the more games I played, the better I got with this opening. I continued playing and got quicker and would win more and more often. Nice. You take that? <sighs> okay, okay. Did he blunder mate though? I mean, he blundered mate and we will take that honestly. Even against really fast players who I would normally lose against, I was still beating. Oh, nice. And even though in this game I blundered my queen... Oh my... I won, oh my gosh, 1958. 1958... My position was still good enough that it ended up clutching the victory royale. Tomorrow is the final day for 2000. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, 1958, okay. Tomorrow's the final day. Okay, I know I said I was done for today, but look, I'm playing well, I'm doing good, why end it when I'm winning, right? So, let's just see how high we can go. This was now the final stretch of 50 points. The first game, I won. The next one I lost, and oh, I prayed no. that it wouldn't start tilting like every day before. I continued winning one nice. game, then losing the next one. Nice, 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 nice. No. Until this weird thing happened. Wait, how did he run out of time? Okay, look, what is this? He went from 37 seconds to zero seconds. What? Slowly but surely, I was closing in on the 2000 rating. No shot, I win. I won that. I can't believe I won that. Guys, guys, we're close. We are close, folks. We are close. The only problem now was I could feel the pressure getting to me. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Every game, my palms were sweaty, my knees were weak, and my arms were heavy. Because vomit. But as I was getting closer, I lost one game. Come on. No! Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Are you joking? Then another. Oh my gosh, brother, 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 brother. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, yep, that's over. Okay, like, seriously, dude? And another. Okay, 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 focus, focus. Meditate. Now, we can go. I could not start a losing streak now. If I went below 1900, I had no idea if I would be able to come back from that. But I remembered what I had done before, just focusing on the game, not how high my opponent was rated, not my rating, not the time, just focusing on what was going on in this chess game. We take that victory royale. Every game I was getting just a little bit closer to 2000. Oh my, what is he? He's really falling under the pressure, man. Until Time finally, I was one game away from a 2,000 rating. Okay, okay. Seven points away. 100% focus. Dude, dude, focus, focus, man. Come on. No, 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 no. Take these, come on. Yes. Take that. Take this. We are winning. Am I recording? Oh my gosh. After six days, over ten and a half hours of playing chess, and hundreds of games, I finally reached my goal of 2,000 ELO in chess, proving that an average person like you or me can go from just an average player to getting a 2,000 rating in just a matter of days.